John Rubin from Racer's Edge Books, and I am freaking pumped to show you the Racer's Edge race car setup software version 2.5. Okay, this blows our previous version away, basically because you don't need Microsoft Excel to run it. All right, you don't need the expense of Microsoft Excel in order to run our program or this program. Okay. This program runs on Java. It is a free download. In the README First file, you will get with the program. Okay, there's a link to a website to download it for free for your type of computer. So this will run on any computer. Install that. Done. You can run this software. All right. So don't be concerned with that. You'll be able to use this. And I'm going to show you how freaking cool it is to use it. All right. Okay, let's get into this. I want to go over a few basics that you need to know about the software uh, before we get into the meat and bones of it, okay? First basic I want to show you is the date up here. It is pre-populated with the date you open the program, all right? So the date, today's date is April 1st when I'm shooting this video, so that's why that's in there. If you want to change the date, all you need to do is click on this icon, a calendar pops up, find the date you want, double click on the date, and you can change it. I just change it to April 2, right there. That easy, okay? Second thing is the contact icon. You click on that, up comes the contact info if you need to get a hold of us for any type of reason, okay? Click OK, and it goes away. Third thing is the notes area. All you have to do is click down there and you can start typing. Notes go here. All right, that will save along with all the rest of the information you input for your setup. All right, pretty basic. Now, there's, you can see that there's green and there's white boxes. All right, the only boxes you need to input information in are the white boxes. All right, the green are automatically calculated for you off of the white, the information you put in the white boxes, okay? I'll show you that on this program here coming up uh, in just a minute, all right? So let's get into this Racer's Edge Tire Temperature Averaging Program. But before I show you how this works, I need to tell you, okay, that if you are not taking tire temperatures, when, you're cut, when your car is coming off the racetrack, you are missing out on a vital piece of setup information. Okay, you guys need to start doing this in order to figure out what your setups are, what you need to change in your setups to make your race car faster. All right? There is nothing more important than those four black donuts that your car rides on. Okay? Those are the link to the racetrack for your race car, all right? And they will tell you a ton of information if you just take tire temperatures when your car comes off the track, all right? I'm not gonna get into any more than, than that, all right? If you want to know more about that, get a copy of How to Set Up Any Race Car to Win and go to the chapter, How to Use Tire Management for Speed. That will detail out all this information I'm about to show you on this page of the program, all right? Okay, enough about that. Let's get into this. As you can see, I have these three tires already uh, punched in for tire temps. So basically what I want to do is type in the temperatures in these three boxes for the left front so you can see the averages change in the green boxes. Okay, so for easy figuring, let's go 180. We're going to go 185 and 190. All right. Now, as you can see, all the numbers changed. What you get when you punch in those figures, all right, your temperatures, you get what your tire average is per tire, okay? You also get the right side average, your rear average, your left side average, your front average, and then also you get your right front left rear average and your left front right rear average right here in the middle okay 
And like I said, if you don't know what to do with those numbers, how to set up any race car to win, go to how to use tire management for speed chapter, and it'll show you exactly what you need to know, okay? And how you can figure out what your car is doing or what it's going to be doing or whatever um, going forward, okay? So there is the tire temperature averaging program. Pretty quick, easy, and simple, all right? Let's get into the scaling program. The scaling program is basically just like a set of digital scales. It works the exact same way. All right. You put in your four um, weights of your car, and it will calculate the rest for you. All right. I've got these three already punched in. And just to show you how this works, I'm going to type in 680 here. Okay. What it does when you put in those four pieces of information, it will give you the total weight of the car, the left side percentage and left side weight, your cross weight percentage and cross weight weight, your rear percentage and rear weight, and along with that, we'll also calculate your rear bite. All right? So it gives you all the information that a set of digital scales will. So if you're using grain scales or a different set of scales, or heck, even if you are using digital scales, okay, punch that information in here, double check the numbers, and then save that information all in one spot on your computer, okay? I mean, it's a win-win, right? I mean, you get to save this information so you can refer back to it later, all right? So that's the cool part of this program, all right, is you can save everything without having loose leaf notebooks and binders and all that kind of stuff around all right one more thing about this part of the program is we put a part in here to you for you to I'm so stinking excited I can't even talk right anyway um, we put a part in here for you to record your ride heights of your race car as well all right so that's an added feature for this program that you can't get on a set of digital scales, right? So, okay, enough about that. Let's go on to the shock and spring program. There's no calculations that go on in this program. It's just basically an area for you to store the spring rate and shock rate for your left front, your left rear, your right front, and your right rear tires. It's just information you, for you to come back to later so you can use the same shock and spring rates if you want or if you need to make a change, whatever, okay? So that's pretty basic and straightforward. The tire stagger program will calculate your tire stagger. Um, let's just punch in 80 here, okay? That gives you five inches of stagger between your front tires, all right? Here you can see 79 and 83, that's four inches of stagger between those tires. Pretty basic and simple. Uh, one added bonus we did throw in here too is a place to store your air pressures so you know what your tire air pressure was for each one of the corners of your race car. All right. So that's basically it for the program. I mean, it's, it's not real tough. It's pretty easy to navigate. It's pretty easy to figure. All right. Now, the cool part about this, like I mentioned before, is you have the option to save these setups. All right. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. To save the setups, all you need to do is go up here and click on Save. And as you can see, I have already got a folder named Race Car Setups that are that's in my Documents area on my computer. All right. All you need to do is click on that Save. This box pops up. Name the file, and let's just call this Raceway Park. 4-2-14, okay? You do that, and all you need to do is click Save. That's it. It's saved on your computer. Now, if you want to refer back to that setup, all you need to do is click on the Open icon up here. That folder opens up, and right there you can see Raceway Park 4214. All right? Double-click on that, and it will open that setup for you. All right, so you got all that information right there at your fingertips. And I can show you exactly how to do that. I've got one in here, video example, which is the video um, example that I'm showing you right now, basically without the stuff 
pre-populated in that I punched in. So let's just open that to show you. Video example, right there you can see the rollout doesn't have anything in there. The uh, scaling program is back to zero and the tire temperature averaging program, the left front has zeros. Okay, so it's pretty simple. I can actually go open and go back to Raceway Park and it shows me exactly what was there that we punched in on this video. All right, super easy, super simple. Anybody can use the software, all right? That's why I'm so freaking pumped. It's a great tool for you to use for setting up your race car, okay? So I just wanna thank you for watching this video. I want you to go out, win some races, save some setups, and run up front and hopefully you'll find your way to victory lane okay get a copy of this software right now click on click on the link below and we'll see you at the racetrack